Welcome back to this pick. Welcome back to show you guys. Some be a preview for Georgia uh, 2019 season. Uh, we got a ceiling, which means their best possible record. We got their real record for me, what I think is going to happen, and their floor, which is absolute worst record they could possibly have. And games to watch, games that are going to be interesting, games that could lose, game uh, season defying game. So. Yeah. I think this is going to be a really, really good Georgia team. I have them going 12 and 0 with their ceiling and their real record, and their floor for me is 9 and 3. They could drop some team games, but I just don't really see it. LSU, Notre Dame, Florida, and A&M are really the only teams that I think can be interesting. Teams that would maybe be able to beat them. Um, Tennessee might have a decent team. Uh, Kentucky, you always got to worry about. But yeah. those four teams are really going to give a test, in my opinion, for. Uh, Georgia, um, LSU, we've already talked about them. They're going to be pretty good. I don't have a lot of confidence in Notre Dame. I think they're going to take a step back. Yeah. I want to see how Florida plays this year. They're going to be interesting. a and going to be interesting as well. Mm -hmm. See if Devo, uh, Devo, uh, Jimbo can uh, really uh, make that major step in the second season. Right. Uh, I'm not as high uh, as Adam is on them, but uh, I mean, it ain't. I'm not far off. Uh, I got their ceiling, which is my ceiling is what I think is going to happen, uh, their, or what they're going to do in the season. And my floor is uh, you know, worst case scenario, what how many uh, games they're going to lose. Um, and I got uh, I got them ten and two as their ceiling, and nine and three as their floor. Um, yeah, I think they're going to lose a couple games this year. And uh, the games I think they're going to lose, could definitely lose, uh, put it that way, is Florida and uh, LSU. Um, like I said, we talked about LSU. Uh, there's a guy that's solid defense. So I think they're going to have – Georgia's going to have trouble against them. Um, and uh, Florida, man, honestly, they're a very uh, toss-up team this year. We don't know exactly what they're going to do. So you, it's going to be harder to prepare for them. So – uh, we'll see how that game goes, but yeah, man, I think they're gonna run. I think Georgia's gonna run into a couple roadblocks this year, uh, but yeah, I think most part they're still gonna be a solid team. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what Fromm's gonna do this year. Uh, he's been a very up and down quarterback, so let's let's see if he can put the pedal to the metal and uh, be uh, you know a Georgia, that Georgia quarterback they need. So uh, yeah, man, I think Georgia's gonna do pretty well, but I think they're gonna hit a couple roadblocks this year. Yeah, uh, Jake uh, State Farm is going to be really uh indicator of how good they're going to be really in this season. I think they're uh, going to be really good because I think Fromm's going to have a really great season. Yeah. Um, we'll see if uh, uh, the running back can have a really great season like he did last year. See if the receivers can step up. That's kind of a weak point on my, the team. They have a really good line. Yeah. The defense is good. They're really young. They got Nolan Smith. They got Campbell still. It's going to be a sophomore year. They got a ton of other talent as well. So really interested to see how they play. Um, Dean, he was a really five-star player that was between Bama and uh, Georgia, and he went to Georgia. So dang, uh, Kirby, man, he's a monster recruiter. And I don't know if this is going to be their season, but they're not going anywhere, man. Uh, no. They're not. No. I don't know if this will be a year they win a championship. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. But they're not going anywhere. They're just going to get better and better and better. So I am definitely want to see how they play this season. Uh, a lot of pressure on Fromm. Um, he doesn't have Chubb and uh, Michelle anymore. Mm -hmm. He didn't have them last year either, and he kind of struggled a little bit. So I want to yeah. see if he can bounce back and be that superstar quarterback that I think he could be. Um, I don't know about his NFL. Like I don't know if he's going to be a superstar in NFL. Who knows? Yeah, Quarterbacks just... <laughs> Never know about quarterbacks. I mean, Darren Jones is like a so far a monster in preseason, so you never know about quarterbacks. But yeah. as a college, I think he could be amazing because um, he has a really good running game, a really good defense. So they don't need him to do everything. They don't need to be a Baker Mayfield, Kyle Murray. They just need him to make some plays and not kill their chances of winning the game. So yeah. uh, I'm excited to see this Georgia team. I love Kirby Smart. I think he's a great coach, a great uh, defensive mind. Um, despite beating my, beating my OU, that really <laughs> still hurts a little bit, but uh, got a tip of the cap to a really good team. So, man, yeah. I can't wait to see how they can uh, contend for this SEC championship. Yeah, and, and they have to play well because, you know, they got they got a pretty tough schedule. Like, 
Uh, even though Vanderbilt ain't ranked or nothing, you know, that's a that's a tough opening yeah, game. They're a solid team. Yeah, tough opening game. Uh, like I said, they got to play Dame. We don't know what they could do. Uh, Tennessee, you never know. They might actually be pretty solid this year. Yeah. Uh, I think they could beat NC State. Uh, uh, Kentucky's a – and that, that's just a – if you ain't careful, they'll sneak up on your game. Yeah, like Georgia outside, like compared to Alabama, Alabama always played these pair and they're bred universities. <laughs> and. Georgia, man, got to give it to them. They're playing a Vandy team that's always going to be decent. they got a hell of a coach and play Notre Dame out of conference, and they just got a really hard schedule as well. Got to play A&M um, as well. So, yeah, man, um, this is no, no cookie-cutter uh, SEC ch- uh, schedule like Alabama. I'm not trying to take shots at Alabama, but being honest, uh, yeah, man, uh, it's going to be a tough schedule, but I just think Georgia's just loaded this year, and yeah, I think they have a really good year. Yeah, and like I said, uh, like I was saying, Kentucky they could lose to, Florida after, that's after that, is Florida. Uh, we've been, we watch this, uh, or listen to this guy, these guys do this podcast, and uh, he listens to them a little more than I do. Uh, I only, that I, I was my actual first time listening to him, but uh he said these guys that he listened to were, you know, really good and smart uh, when it comes to college football. And they were saying that uh, Missouri is going to be a good team this year. And they got them right after Florida. So Yeah, Odom, uh, Coach Odom is a really good uh, defensive mind. Uh, yeah, his brother yeah. came to OU, their linebacker coach. And uh, yeah. making Missouri, putting them in the right position. Uh, Missouri starting to recruit a lot better. Uh, they got a really good linebacker that I thought was going to go to OU, but committed to uh, uh, Missouri. They got another guy that was committed to Oklahoma, Dante Mann, that they're, uh, they, he's definitely flirting with Missouri. So hmm. definitely uh, Coach Odom's definitely putting them in the right positions. So, yeah, man, uh, Georgia's got a really tough schedule. Uh, this is honestly one of the years if they want to prove that they're a top team, this is it. Uh, if they can uh, run, run through the schedule and – prove themselves then yeah george could be a very solid team all right that's all i gotta say i do for me uh please comment like subscribe of course i love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions see you on the next one